hello everyone in today's video we will talk about a very important topic especially important for you if you keep shrimps and the topic is white ring of death one of the deadliest diseases i would say not actually diseases sign of disease um, that shrimps go through and if your shrimp is facing white ring of death then it will be very hard to you know help your shrimp or make it survive through the stage uh, now, without uh, getting further ado, let's first explain what is white um, ring of death. To understand white ring of death, you will need to have a good idea about molting. Now, shrimps and other crustaceans, they go through mold when they grow in size. Okay, so uh, think, of, think of me, okay, and like... Um, like think of me when I am a 10 year old boy. Now when I am 10 year old, my shirt will be a specific size. My pant will be a specific size, right? Now when I grow to be 12 year old, that old size won't fit me. I will have to buy new size, a longer size shirt and a longer size pant, right? So the same thing happens with shrimps. As they grow, as their body grows, becomes larger, the old exoskeleton or in easier terms the old you know dress of the shrimp the cover of the shrimp doesn't do so they um, break out of the old exoskeleton and grow a new one that fits their body and as shrimps uh, continues to grow they go through multiple molting stages so uh, molting is essential for shrimps to grow it's a very natural process okay as natural as it can be, it can also be very very deadly um, because if there is any imbalance in the water parameters, any imbalance in the diet, then there are high chances that the mold will not go successfully and in that case, white ring of death normally occurs. So white ring of death is actually a sign that shows the shrimp has gone through an unsuccessful molting. Now um, how it happens? Um, the um, let me share with you how shrimp molds. Okay, in easier terms. Now, uh, when shrimps want to mold, first the old exoskeleton gets loosened up, and shrimps uh, fill the space inside the old exoskeleton and in uh, between the the space between the old exoskeleton and the body. The shrimp fills that uh, space with water. As the space gets filled with water the old exoskeleton burst at one point near the neck area okay and from that point the shrimp gets into a u shape and starts to wiggle out of the you know old exoskeleton and after some time it can be one hour half an hour or two hours it gets out of the old exoskeleton and forms a new one okay this is the typical molting experience for a shrimp now um, when an unsuccessful molting happens, the old exoskeleton doesn't break at one point near the neck area. It breaks throughout the whole neck area. As a result, the exoskeleton breaks into two parts near the head area and the body area and there is a separation near the neck. And in that separation, you will see white color. That white color is actually the flesh of the shrimp. That's why it is called white ring of death. Let me explain it to you with an easier example. Suppose I have a gloves, okay, a gloves on my hand. Now, if I partially open the gloves, like at this stage, and wiggle my fingers, no matter how much wiggling I do, the gloves will not come out of the finger, come, on, come out of my hand, right? So that's the case that happens with shrimps and um, this is actually a, a sign of unsuccessful molting and this is what we call the white, shrimp, uh, white ring of death. Now, why white ring of death happens? There are multiple uh, theories, multiple uh, advocates of multiple problems people say. Um, I will talk about them. The first one is people say if there is too much protein in the diet, shrimps can go through um uh unsuccessful molting stage and it can cause and it, it it can show white ring of death now i don't agree with it 100% let me explain why 
too much protein um, can indirectly cause watering of death but there is no direct correlation between them so uh, why people say too much protein is responsible let me give their point of view um, shrimps need protein to grow right we all living animals need protein to grow now uh, when there is too much protein shrimps will get too much protein eat too much protein and they will grow quicker as a result they will go through multiple molting experiences more often more quickly and so the chances of uh, unsuccessful molting experience gets higher as the shrimps will have to go through many many molting stages so that's what that's how protein is actually indirectly related to a chance of unsuccessful molting experience now uh, that's i don't actually you know directly uh, blame protein for that it I don't think it works that way because um, almost every uh, you know experienced shrimp keepers provide at least um, 30 to 40 percent protein in the shrimps diet so I don't think protein is the problem here and I think the problem lies with other causes that I will explain next one probable reason can be too large water change or uh, changing water too often when you do a very large water change like 60 70 percent water change or you are doing uh, water change too often like two or three times a week then the water parameters don't get stable in an instable uh, water parameter condition the, sh uh, the shrimp can go through multiple uh, molting uh, stages because you know improper water parameters trigger molting in shrimps so when the shrimps go through multiple molting stages the chances of a uh, unsuccessful molting stage can actually happen and it can happen a lot so that's why too much or too often water change can trigger these uh, white ring of deaths another reason can be imbalance between ph and calcium um, a group of researchers kept a shrimp colony in a low ph environment and after about 21 days they saw that there is no visual differences in the shrimps there are no visual signs of keeping them in a low ph environment however the calcium content in the shells of the shrimp got very higher so it means in a low ph environment the shrimp shells uh, form a higher calcium density body um, the calcium to magnesium ratio gets higher as a result the shell gets very tougher so shrimps can't easily molt and get out of the old exoskeleton which can cause white ring of death gh can also trigger unsuccessful molting uh, if you're not aware gh means general hardness so it's a metric that measures the amount of calcium and magnesium in your water in the aquarium's water um, in, in aquarium calcium mainly comes from calcium carbonate okay now calcium is very very important for shrimps because uh, uh, when a shrimp forms a new exoskeleton the new exoskeleton's total calcium content uh, um, of the total calcium content 25 percent comes from the old exoskeleton okay so that's why uh, a good calcium uh, i would say good gh a proper gh in the proper range is very important for shrimps to uh, mold successfully now if the gh gets too low that means there is not enough calcium in the aquarium also there is lack of magnesium in the aquarium magnesium is also important because it helps shrimps to molt and to absorb calcium so that's why if there is a too low gh that means there is too low calcium which um, in relation means the shrimp won't get enough calcium for a successful molting experience um, also if the gh gets too high then the uh, calcium content in the shrimp's shell will be too high which will get a very which will create a very dense um, hard shell so the shrimp will, won't be able to get out of their shell either so that's why it is important to keep the gh in the perfect optimum range so these are some of the problems that causes white ring of death now let's come to solutions a good solution is providing your shrimp with a balanced diet this is the best thing you can do now uh, by balanced diet what i mean is shrimps primarily live on algae and biofilm but don't just leave your shrimps to algae and biofilm um, give your shrimps something extra one good thing can be giving them a 
good commercial food that is enriched with all the necessary minerals nutrients that your shrimp will need for successful growth um, i will recommend vector ae i have uh, heard good uh, reviews about that product so you can try vector ae or any other food that you like that has good reviews you will not need to uh, provide them with vector ae or any other commercial food every day of the week we, uh, you can feed them three or four times a week with the commercial food also give them blanched vegetable it can be a great way to enrich their diet i would say uh, for successful uh, for promoting successful molting experience blanched kale can be a very very good vegetable um, also you can provide them with blanched uh, spinach blanched zucchini these are very good vegetables too for your shrimps also if you want to increase the amount of calcium in your shrimps diet one good option can be using cattle bone so um, get some cattle bone and you can i think you can find cattle bones from uh, pet stores that sell birds because birds eat uh, cattle bones now get cattle bone and throw a piece of cattle bone in the you know in the aquarium water and let your shrimp feast on that it will provide them calcium also if you don't have cattle bone uh, cattle bone you can use you know crushed egg shell so get a couple of uh, egg shells uh, i mean chicken egg shells and uh, then uh, you know wash the egg shells and then bake them in the oven for about two minutes to ensure there are no germs on the eggshells and then get them to a pestle and mortar and crush the eggshells make them a very fine powder and you can sprinkle that uh, powder into the aquarium shrimp tank uh, once in a while and your shrimps will munch on that you know crushed eggshells and get the necessary calcium so these are the solutions to white ring of death problem now let me explain again white ring of death is very very deadly for shrimps and if your shrimp shows white ring of death there is actually very little you can do to help him don't try let me emphasize it again don't try to help your shrimp with the mold like you know manually reaching out to the shrimp and getting it out of the shell don't try anything like that it will be a very stupid idea no matter how delicate you are, you might harm your shrimp. So unless you are a vet who is specifically experienced on shrimps, don't try to manually help your shrimps with getting out of the old exoskeleton. You will actually harm your shrimps and you might even cause him to die. So that's it. That's all about white ring of death. Um, today's topic was a bit morbid. Um, let me know on which topic I will make my next video. If you like today's video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Take care.